there's a few techniques that we cover. It's called the, I like to call it the power wu sao. So all we're doing is a wu sao, but we're adding extra juice to it by using our other hand behind it. All right, so what we want to do is we want to use this bone, this part of our palm. It has the uh, most structural integrity. And so if I push here, there's nothing actually holding back the palm. You can break it easily, use this part of the palm. Okay, and I'm gonna use this part to push together. We're gonna use a snapping motion, okay? So this hand pushes on the wrist on this part of the right hand. Snapping motion. At the same time, I'm gonna take a step, take a step into it, all right? And if you also one more thing is you think about hockey checks, they thrust their hips into it, okay? But don't thrust it back like this much, just start from here, and thrust this, and then now you're straight. You're not straight, and now you're straight. So don't go farther than that, okay? So just to practice, we're just gonna stand, combat stance, and just go like that. And the target is the sternum, here. See, even if I do it with one hand, mm -hmm. that's got some juice after, under it. So imagine I use my body and both hands and use my hips, okay? So it's actually quite useful. So just for training purposes, I'm gonna go, Slightly, okay? So the power is actually from connecting the elbow to the hips. See this connection? The elbow and the hips move together. Now if you just use the hand without moving the hips, you can get some power. But you can get more power when you connect the hips to your elbow. Alright, so that's the power of Wusao. I'm just looking at it like this, connecting my hips with my elbow, and then, and then aiming for this part to his sternum. Sternum is right beneath this breast line where they meet. It's a nice bone there and it's very sensitive. That fits perfectly with your, with your palm here. So you want to push it upwards actually. Upwards. So even with a pad on, you can get some force. I'm only 150 pounds. He's 215 or something. Yeah. Right? And I can push him back doing that. And he's got a pad. Okay? So uh, that's the power whistle. The other the next one is called a power knuckle. All I'm doing is just doing a straight punch, but put the middle knuckle out, all right? And I'm doing the same motion. So instead of using your hips again, but this one's coming straight out like a straight punch, okay? We're not going to take all the force. This is just kind of like, as like the head of the drill. It goes into the drill hole, and then the rest of it comes after it, okay? So, so all I'm doing is, like that. And it's a little bit stronger than the other one. Okay, so, uh, and then the third one is using this one instead of to the truss, up to the throat or to the chin. Throat is better because you got this. It's up to the guy's throat. Okay, so those are three levels and three levels of force, depending on what he does. Okay, so um, let's move on to the next two.